from Southwest Florida's Morning News Source. This is Fox 4 News Rising. Well, I think it's safe to say that you really never know when someone might attack you, whether you're walking to your car from the mall or you're at home and someone intrudes. Very, very true. And to help you out, we have Wayne Bradshaw from RAP Defense with us. And he's been a police officer, helped train uh, members of the force, worked with military personnel. And you got some tips for us if somebody grabs us like face forward. Yeah, exactly. Again, as we've talked about on past programs, women are usually attacked different than men, and usually they want to be moved or dragged. And one of the things that a lot of people know particularly if they've been involved in violence in life. If you control the person's head, you kind of control the movement in their body. Okay. So what can happen here, an attacker can grab you behind the head and try to pull you in close and grab you. Right. If you move your head back properly, you can attack a part of their arm and really stop them, painfully stop them, and even add, add on to the attack and, and really finish the person off. This, this, is a, this move, I see more injuries and training than just about any other move, so we got to be careful when we do it. Okay. It would involve, say, Amy, if I, if I was pulling you in in this direction. Okay, so you take the back of my head and pull me in. And pull me in, then I come in to grab it. What you do is just pull your head back a little bit. Right. And take this hand and smash it right into my form smash that it. way. Ooh, I could break your elbow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Very I feel the force, easy. And, you know, I, I'm a girl, I'm not as, obviously not as strong as this big guy, but I felt like I could push your arm, and that's such a sensitive part of your body. Oh, yeah. Huh. And certainly so not something it? the attacker's going to oh, expect. Oh, no, not at all. One more time. Okay, so See, pull me in. Yeah, I pull you in and you, yeah. Wow, wow, yeah, that's easy to do. Now, really what if they job. grab you with both hands? Okay. Because, like, you only grabbed Amy with one. Uh, if, if, if I grab with both hands or I grab with one, it's, okay. it has the same that's, effect. So just do yeah. a double whammy. No, you can go right with that, right just to that way where you did right it. Right Kind of up in that way. Push your head toward my hand. This way. Yes. There. It and really then. doesn't matter because what happens is, it, it, this hand just stops the action of your head going this way, but once this elbow is shattered, forget about it. Yeah. Bam. So and the elbow is right kind of weak, so definitely not something they're going to yeah. see as a vulnerable point. Exactly. Now, and so. women, you you know, obviously I feel like women are targeted more than men because we're more vulnerable. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of different moves that you teach that, that can protect them. Oh, yeah. And, and women also have to make sure that that one strike that they start with is really devastating Forceful. in effect. Yeah, you really have to let him have it. Yeah, you don't want to give him a second chance. You want to really nail him. So in this case, you shatter the person's elbow. You can act, you can break it, but you can cause such pain mm -hmm. that you They're move gonna, the person away and you can and kick them run. low and, and get out of there. Yeah. All right, good to know. So uh, Wayne's actually going to be with us at 8 o'clock, and I hear we're using a shovel in yes. the 8 o'clock hour. Yes. Woo! Watch out. Household implements. All right. There we're you gonna go. More ways to defend yourself. Absolutely. Exactly. And if you want to get a hold of Wayne, you can call him at 239-989-8971. Or for more information, you can log on to the website, www.rapdefense.com. All right. Thanks, Wayne. We'll All see right. you in the 8 o'clock hour. You. All right, well, you never know where you might be attacked, but the key to remember is that you can probably always find something to help defend yourself. And just to demonstrate that very fact is Wayne Branch. He's with Rap Defense, and we've got a shovel here, so maybe we're out in the garden. We're digging a grave. You could be out in the garden. <laughs> you could be in a garage. Either one of those two things, right? So so let's just say you want to use the shovel for self-defense. Mm -hmm. You've got an intruder, and you're scared. Well, if you pick the shovel up and you try to swing it, you can bang it into something before it gets there or he can take it away from you. Right. Some people might think it's you could take the shovel and thrust it toward the person's face, which is a pretty good idea. Right. But he's probably going to be expecting something like that as soon as you pick up the shovel. So they could get their hands up there. Get the, exactly. They get their hands up, or... they get it away from you, we got a real problem. Okay. So we want to really shock and surprise him in a way that he wouldn't expect. So what you do is you take the shovel like you're going to push it up into the face, and instead you smash it right down Ooh, into their ankle here, ouch. right where these tendons are. Ouch, that looks like that, it hurts. That's just so making me like wince. That, a little nervous since we both got sandals on here. Don't take out our feet. So it's kind of like a, a psych move. Like, yeah. thought you, I was getting you in your face, really going to your foot. Right, and yeah. Side yeah. Note, you can't move anymore, right? Okay. Do you ever want to know how tall I am? About the <laughs> size of the, the shovel. So, so I'm I would go, go my hands up like that. And, and then just suddenly. Bam, right like yeah. that. You look like and a warrior, Amy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Watch out. Don't make me mad. <laughs> but it's really easy because you just flip the wrist, basically. Exactly. So so is there a certain way you should hold it, though? Yeah, you would hold it as if as if you were going to... As if you were shoveling. Yeah, so you're like you're shoveling, and then you bring it up to a face. He and looks. Flip down. Boom. Okay. Right he doesn't expect so it. So let me pretend I'm shoveling, and you come along, and I, I get scared. So then yeah. instead of, oh, psych. Boom. Oh, ah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's a metal brace for my knee, by the way. Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm I glad you injected that. so much realism into this. Don't, thing. don't so mess with me. Are you okay? Amy, She's warrior okay. princess. <laughs> oh my no, word. I'm fine. Good to know it works.
work. Wow. But uh, if I didn't that... have the brace on, I'd be on the way to, to the hospital. But <laughs> just to show you how effective it was, she sure fooled me. Yes, okay. And uh, actually, if you want to catch up with Wayne, he does several seminars and he can help you out. Give him a call, 239-989-8971, or check out his website, <laughs> www.rapdefense.com. I'm so sorry. Please come back to see us. <laughs> I certainly will. My pleasure. We promise right, we're really not normally this violent, but hey, we're into the moment. Exactly. <laughs>